Hey guys, so apparently this shirt is really bright because my camera was like auto adjusting for the brightness and it was focusing on this shirt and my face was super dark. So I don't know, something about this shirt is super bright. Anyway, after I got out of school today, I was on winter break and I have that for the next couple of weeks. And what that means is I don't have any super pressing concerns. I still got a couple of college apps to finish up, but I got plenty of time for those. I've got like a couple of homework assignments for over the break, but I've got a lot of free time too. And you know, as soon as I don't have any pressing concerns, I start to learn a lot of Rubik's Cube algorithms, or rather drill a lot of them, because I haven't been learning a lot of them today, but I've spent like three hours just drilling about maybe 10 algorithms or so. So three hours on 10 algorithms, drilling them so that I could execute them like this. And now I'm probably gonna mess this up because this is one that I can execute sub two, but it's very inconsistent. Here we go. All right, there. That at the end was a pretty good execution of it. I can do better, but whatever. It's a really awkward algorithm. There's like a regrip in the middle of it, but there are a lot of different ways you could regrip it because you do an R2 and then you have to come like move your hand back and then and there's a U2 and then like, so you can do that U2 with either hand and you can regrip the R2 here or here and it'll still work out. So just getting it to a consistent execution is difficult because I like, I have so many options that I could do any of them during the actual solve or during the actual execution of the algorithm. And if I do a different one every time, I'm never gonna get consistently fast at one of them. So I sort of had to just train for a long time to make sure I was doing the same one. And I think I found one that works quite well. I'm just going to formally outline some goals that you guys can help hold me accountable. So let's just say that by the end of December, I'd like to have all the TTLLs rememorized and also very fast to execute. So I can just do a whole session of just drilling all the TTLLs and not mess up any of them or like 95% success rate or something. And then by the end of January, I'd like to have all of TSLE learned and also again, executable very quickly, like 95% efficiency, efficiency, accuracy, preferably sooner than that. I could say like January 15th or something because I'm pretty sure I'll finish TTLL much sooner than that if I keep working on it at this rate and so TSLE shouldn't be too far behind. Also, hey, today is a marquee day for the vlog because today is the first day that I'm starting to rebuild my backlog. This video, as I'm recording it right now, this is actually coming out tomorrow. Today, my vlog from my competition last weekend is coming out, and this is the day it's supposed to come out, like as if it were a real vlog that I recorded with a six day backlog, which it actually was. And this one's gonna come out with a one day backlog, and then hopefully tomorrow I can record a couple more or something, and I'm gonna build it back up. We're gonna make the vlog have a backlog again. Speaking of Marquis, Marquis de Lafayette did something in like American history. He was from France or something. Maybe helped them out in the Revolutionary War. I don't remember. I just remember the name. That's what the United States history education system will do for you. You'll remember a bunch of names, but not remember who they did. George Washington? Who's that? Abraham Lincoln? Nope, doesn't ring any bells. Barack Obama? Never heard of him. I should mention that all my ALG training today was done on a the Volk M, which I will be making my full review of actually on Monday now, not today, like I said I was going to, but whatever. I decided I needed a little bit more time to work with it and really get a feel for it, and I still haven't tried it for OH really intensely, but I might want to try that out tomorrow or something so that I can include my thoughts on OH in the video. It actually seems to be handling this algorithm that I had problems with earlier a little bit better than it was before. Not as many lockups. Now with all that being said, I just drilled like four of the algorithms but didn't practice recognizing them at all. So I want to get back to that. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.